hello guys welcome to the another video of this channel so today we are going to talk about one more important interview series question that is related to tech mahindra so in this video we are going to cover tech mahindra selenium interview question and i have collected those uh, 26 or 27 interview question which is been asked in recent days so let's get started the first question is so let me uh, clear you like uh, the, the table of content is showing the number of question and below this you will get the answer of those questions. So if you are facing any of or if you are going to give interview then you can refer these question for any interview. You can answer uh, the in the same way that I have posted on it. So let's get started. The question is tell me about yourself. So in this you need to tell about yourself and your responsibility as a tester do not forget that you need to mention as a tester so make sure you are clearly and concise describe how you are qualified for this position and why to desire it at the organization when answering the question tell me about yourself the first and most step is to begin developing your selling points Check the job description in the recruitment ad for the position and conduct research on the basis. So the, the core point of it like when you are applying for any job whether it's Tech Mandra, SCL, Infosys or XYZ company. First of all you need to understand the job description because everything that is posted or that is written in job description your interviewer going to ask about that. Suppose I am hiring for a, a, a an automation engineer or hiring an automation engineer i have requirement that i need a python programmer or python automation tester then i will not be picking the java resume so i will be interested in the python or i need uh, someone who has experience in jira someone who has experience in postman or ss or something like that so obviously i will be picking those resumes so instead of that first of all look into the jd first Identify what all things that been asked in JD and then prepare resume. So this will give you a good weightage while applying for any job. Next question is which framework you have used in your project. Obviously the framework that we are using so stick to that if you are using data driven and ready for the answer for that. Next is difference between hybrid and data driven framework. So the question is hybrid versus data driven the simplest answer i can give you data driven where we used to deal with external data sources how we used to uh, if i need to fill any any uh, form or web page i'll need data for that purpose i will be putting my data into an excel file so the excel file is used in data driven framework so this is all about data driven in hybrid we use data driven it means to say excel as well as keyword driven frameworks so that is a combination of data driven and keyword driven frameworks. So this is about it. If you do not know keyword driven framework, then please comment on the section. I will explain how keyword driven framework works. It will uh, I mean, take only 15 to 20 minutes. I can explain you how keyword driven actually works, how to write test cases, how to execute test cases and what all things we as a tester do in keyword driven. Next is can we run multiple suits using test ng file? Yes, we can add in this is a, a, a uh, not that tricky question, but I mean confusing question. Somebody can think like multiple suit. So do we need to run multiple uh, test suit or XML files or a single XML file which contains multiple suit? We can do both the things. You can create your XML, put the class name, execute it or if you have multiple uh, classes then you can create single file or single xml file where you can call all the suit file next is what type of annotations we use so there are multiple uh, there are multiple types of annotations that we can use in our test ng project so here we are i mean talking about the test ng only explain about grouping in test ng why we use grouping can we uh, group our method test cases or how grouping used to work? What is the advantage of using? Why we use that and something like that. What is data provider? I mean, we must have used data provider in our framework. The reason is because we need to pass the data 
or or uh, suppose i have an excel file that contains row and column and i need to pass the data for that purpose i will use data provider using data provider is far better than reading the excel file and putting into the hash map or list so data provider is more reliable because testng data provider uh, itself part of testng so if something that testng is providing you can use that it will be uh, the the execution timing of that data provider will be fast as compared to the the uh, the reading uh, reading the excellent and uh, putting the data into the uh, hash map or any collections what is selenium grid so basically selenium grid as you know if we need uh, if we are having multiple test cases and we want to execute them on multiple browser then you can use grid which contains hubs and nodes hub means your setup where you can run your test case and node is number of browsers firefox driver is a class or interface so you can explain what is the uses of get option method we can extract all the options in drop down get option method does not accept any argument and basically you can use this as it is return all the list of variable next is how do you uh, how do you get the attribute so obviously for getting any attribute you will use get attribute method and pass the attribute name so suppose if i need to get the value of uh, let me let me inspect it and let you know like how you can get the the, the. so uh, uh, let's take the example like uh, this is okay so this st contains attribute like class id and yes class and id so if you want to get the the uh, attribute value so you can pass id over here and you will get this 14 difference between overloading and something like that so this is the meaning of this attribute how does you get the width of the text box right now we want to suppose this is the text box I want to check the width of this because sometimes as a QA we will be checking that text box should be a length of the text box should be this width of the text box should be this so how to get this you can use that next is what type of uh, group concept you use next is difference between overloading and overriding uh, we all know about these things test plan test strategy we all know and sometimes he can ask you about the right the the the, uh, the information within the test plan so we know like what when why uh, where how so these all things are the part of test plan next is can we run multiple suits using test engine yes we can use explain about data provider in test ng previous question was related to what is data provider and then next question could be write down the data provider how it return 2d matrix or 2d array interface versus abstract maybe he can ask you have you used interface in java 8 because there is some difference between java 7 and java 8 the pattern we use interface in java 7 is different from well, not that much different but there are some uh, thing that is added in the java 8 the the default method uh, in interface how to take screenshot in web driver which method we use so for taking we use uh, get screenshot method and take a screenshot is the interface what is the framework and which framework you are using what are the advantage of selenium web driver next advantage over j unit or any other or selenium rc or use selenium id how to invoke an application web driver very simple that we use uh, on a daily day-to-day -day basis as the automator how to check whether a text is underlined or not again something css related thing so we can pass this text decoration and there we'll get the is this text is underlined or not how to hover the mouse on an element mouse over obviously will you will be using actions classes for that difference between put and post and patch this is something related to api question put post and patch put is uh, used to update the record post is used to insert put update 
put will update everything within the if if you passing everything like all the uh, I mean whole response uh, while uh, using put method then it will be gets updated but patch if you want to update only three lines like these are the three line in your response and you want to update only this line then you can use patch patch use for certain lines to be updated in a source how to get data in response of any api get the data from the response and utilize data print data traverse within the data get the json object array something like that how to mock any api so mocking is altogether a different thing if you haven't worked on mocking or mocking third party api how to create mock server something like that then you can directly say no or if you want to learn how to mock i will be creating uh, some video for creating a mock uh, server for api like we can use mukun wire mock or json server or uh, you can create your own api using the spring boot and something like that so this is all about it if you want to i mean uh, refer or want to learn api testing then uh, i'll attach the uh, playlist uh, that right now we are having so this is all about it if you have anything then please comment on the comment section thank you guys thank you for watching